Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. Most global markets are um, edging towards all-time highs, with the Nasdaq making the highest uh, level it's done in 15 years, well, since, since 2000, the height of the uh, tech boom. And uh, the US 30 just a stone's throw away from its uh, all-time high, which is around about 18,101 spot nine. Uh, and following on from yesterday's candle formation, things look to be quite good. This is quite a strong signal to get at the top end of an uptrend. Obviously, there was a sell-off and a push up to the top end. Um, Ukraine ceasefire come into force on the 15th of Feb uh, and the fact that uh, we do have a lot of stimulus there might be also uh, over in Sweden and we do also have uh, a potential deal from Greece as they're willing to negotiate with um, members of the of the um, kind of debt section of the Eurozone countries and all in all things are looking a little bit more bullish this morning as most global markets are edging higher Germany 30 at all time highs, US 30, uh, the UK 100 also looking quite good this morning. Um, from a technical perspective, if we break through 17,998, uh, then we should be looking good for a retest of uh, that's this 118, uh, 100 level. Now, we do have some economic data due out today. We've got Eurozone uh, GDP and we also have consumer sentiment. And if we fast forward on to Monday, Nothing exciting on Monday, unfortunately. Tuesday brings a lot of UK data and the ZEW business report. So anybody trading European uh, indices of the Germany 30, the UK 100, um, there is some stuff coming next week you won't be aware of anyway. So um, if we actually move on to the UK 100 there, you can see we're making some decent gains this morning. Uh, our all-time high is uh, 6,906.8. Uh, we might even get there today should the good uh, good momentum hold. So looking at Do uh, Japan 25 yesterday, there was rumours of one of the Bank of Japan um, Monetary Committee members talking uh, stimulus down, that it would be counterproductive. That caused a, a, a quite a severe bout of volatility on dollar yen, which is still uh, on the downside. And uh, the Japan 25 actually sold off quite aggressively. Uh, yesterday only to bounce back as well. So this candle formation we've got right here should be relatively bullish. The next potential resistance 18306. Technicals are neutral indicating there could be further room for uh, for, for growth there. So looking at that dollar yen, very volatile. Uh, it looks to be 118 spot 99 could be the potential support that also coincides with the 55 period SMA, uh, which could be a springboard to again challenge 121 spot 87. Depends. The Bank of Japan actually confirms that stimulus is now off the table. That will add to further Japanese yen strength, um, and the U.S. data continues to kind of be a bit weak and disappoint. There was data out yesterday, I believe. Um, we had the retail sales figures, which came in slightly worse than expected. They were expecting uh, minus 5% and came in minus 8 So we're not really getting a huge amount of dollar positives, albeit the non-farm payrolls last week were, were particularly good. So moving on to crude oil West Texas, it's uh, resurging again, uh, 55, close to $55 next potential resistance level. Um, reading some interesting reports around storage facilities in Cushing, Oklahoma. Um, that there should be enough storage space for people to um, kind of obviously store crude oil till around about April time. So there's uh, record storage going on right now. A lot of um, financial institutions are storing oil now at the cheap price, trying to hold on to it for X amount of time to sell it on for a profit in the future. And um, they think that could be artificially supporting prices as people are actually buying up all the crude. But as soon as um, that area, some of the largest storage space for crude in America becomes full, and so they think that might actually happen in April time, then there's going to be a potential issue because obviously there's not going to be that um, that same storage capacity, and there's worries then that the, um, the demand for crude might actually really kind of roll over. So we'll see what happens anyway. The West Texas crude is advancing higher this morning. It's had a good session yesterday, and it's had a good start to the day up almost 2%. So moving on to gold, uh, gold slowly moving higher. Um, these long-legged candles are not that, that that positive a technical signal in the short term. I think the pressure still remains on gold, even though the US dollar has been in the back for the last couple of days. 12.18 is the next potential support, followed by 11.86. The fundamentals are not in gold's favor, medium to long term anyway. So looking at uh, euro dollar, um, we are trading above the 21 period SMA. That's a, that, that dollar weakness creeping in, obviously a potential deal with Greece helping to aid the euro longer term potential resistance one spot 1642 other technicals are neutral um, if US continues to disappoint and the eurozone continues to move in the right direction you could probably be looking at small gains on your dollar in the next couple of sessions finishing up with GBP USD obviously Sterling had a fantastic day yesterday when Kearney was really talking up uh, 
the uh, the sterling. Um, talked a little bit about interest rates, the Fed interest rates will not rise before uh, the start of 2016, but that deflation or you know inflation and deflation was going to be a major issue that um, Bank of England is going to have to go ahead and, uh, and look at. Um, a lot of traders taking cues as to the sterling should actually be increasing in value and uh, we are now looking at one spot 54.24 as potential resistance which also coincides with the 55 period SMA. We break above that and then we could look to target one spot 55.99, well, one spot 56. Technicals are not yet overbought. The MACD is just about across the zero line so that would be a, a bullish technical signal. We've kind of broken out of uh, multiple trend lines here but uh, we've not yet done one spot 54.24. If we do that then I think sterling might have turned a little bit of a corner but then there's big questions about uh, the US dollar medium term as well. It is a little bit on the ropes right now but should that uh, continue to improve? I guess it depends if uh, traders really believe that the US dollar, that the US are going to raise interest rates uh, in the summer or not and there's a lot of people casting doubt over that just now especially when most other countries are massively talking down their currencies and the dollar's already strengthening quite significantly against those currencies. It's a case of what does America really have to gain by raising their rates? So um, perhaps it might not come as soon as what some people might, might expect. Certainly the macro data is not supporting an incredibly healthy US economy, albeit as outperforming the other ones. Um, it's where the US wants to position itself versus its major competitors. Um, so obviously we talked about the market economic calendar um, for today and early next week. Keep your eye on the chart form as ever. Make insights part of your layout going forward. And join me again on Monday to find out what happened next.